Hi, welcome to Kambalimule Farms. In this video, we will show you how we utilize the waste water to irrigate our farm. Once again, welcome to our channel. And if you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe and support us. If you like our video, please press like button and share with your friends. To get notifications on our next videos, please press bell icon. As you all know in agriculture, water is very important and if we irrigate time to time, then only we can yield a good crop out of them. As this area is most of dry land in the summer, we tried to dig many bore wells and most of them got filled. So just we thought of utilize our daily household used waste water to feed our plants. This is our main wastewater storage pond. We will collect all the wastewater from our kitchen, bathroom, dishwashing wastewater, washing machine wastewater, cowshed wastewater and sand filter backwashing wastewater. All the wastewaters come to this chamber including gober gas slurry waste. Then the wastewater is supplied to the pond after the filtration of big particles. We will not waste sand filter wastewater as well. Everything goes into this pond except the toilet waste. After we dilute the slurry with water, then mix it properly and supply to our farm with the help of Crompton 3HP 3-phase sewage submersible cutter pump. As we install the sewage cutter pump, it will cut the harvest particles into small and it will not block the flow. Then the slurry mixture will flow through the HTP pipe and irrigate it to our plants like areca, coconut, black pepper, banana, areca nursery and grass which is used for our cattle. We are irrigating slurry for many years and got a very good result in yields. The bio slurry that is produced by this process has many uses in plant production. It can be an excellent natural fertilizer that can bind soil nutrients and loosen hard soil. It is used as a biofertilizer with nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium and other trace elements. Due to the processing in biogas, it has high levels of nitrogen compared to others. And it is as a biological pesticide due to its high levels of amino acids, growth hormones and probiotic microbes that can increase soil fertility so that it impacts the quality and quantity of the harvest. Hope you enjoyed the video and please stay tuned for the next video. Until then, see you. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.